Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have a collective uh, Canadian Bath & Body Works haul to show you. Uh, this is a three wick candle collective haul. Um, and But first off, I would like to say welcome to all my new subscribers to my channel. Um, hope everybody's doing well. Um, and I know uh, this channel is uh, mainly a crafty crafting channel. However, I decided to add on my love for fragrances um, in this channel. Um, so if you guys are not interested in a non-crafty video, you can skip this video. Um, but I do have a upcoming small haul from Dollarama so stay tuned for that so again um, I'm going to be showing you guys some uh, fall candles um, my husband and I had picked up recently from Bath & Body Works yes Bath & Body Works is launching some of their fall products um, and I'm very excited uh, what's on the horizon for Halloween for this year uh, 2023 the collection is absolutely gorgeous it's a very gothic it's right up my alley uh, anyone that knows me uh, personally knows that is totally my aesthetic um, and uh, yeah um, it's it's absolutely beautiful and there's a lot of um, body care coming up for for um, fall and Halloween um, I've already made, I've already been making up a list, um, of what to purchase, so stay tuned for, uh, a lot of Halloween and upcoming fall videos. Uh, but yes, uh, Bath & Body Works has been putting some of their fall items, um, on their shelves, um, <clears throat> and, uh, we did end up getting, um, a few candles. Um, and we are burning through some of our older candles as well. Uh, the first one I'm going to be showing you, um, I think I already showed you guys this one in a previous video. Uh, but um, I'm just going to show you guys again. Um, this one is called a Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. Um, this is how the label looks like. Um, my only complaint about, the, about this um, label is the cupcake here. I don't know why they decided to add on a cupcake there. Um, but anyways, it's I, I do like the label. Um, and, uh, and again, I'm from Canada. So um, here in Canada on the products, you will see French and English. Uh, so the labels may look a little bit different so uh, but um, and the prices are a little bit different here in Canada um, they're usually a little bit higher than the US generally but I never purchase anything from Bath & Body Works full price um, I use coupons and I wait for sales so um, there was a three wood candle sale going on and I took advantage of that. So I did end up, or my husband and I, and, uh, and I picked up um, a couple candles um, to add on to our collection. Um, <clears throat> so again, this is Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. Um, this is the lid. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry about the glare. And this is the wax. Um, I, we have not burned this as of yet. Um, but the scent notes um, is Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. Um, that's the uh, name of it. And the notes are Farm Fresh Blueberries, Ripe Pumpkin Autumn Spice. Um, forgive me for some of the candles looking a little bit icky on the, uh, on the bottom. This past weekend, my husband actually uh, spilled some wax uh, from a candle. And some of it had spilled onto couple of these uh, candles but we did uh, clean these up as much as we can so um, but what matters is the candle itself right so um, yeah so that's uh, blueberry pumpkin patch 
and um, I know there is another blueberry candle coming out or going to be released um, blueberry um, pancakes is coming back um, in another jar style um, we've already had that in our, in our collection or we still have that in our collection and it's wonderful and uh, but um, I probably will end up picking up that one as well in the future but for now we have blueberry pumpkin patch and uh, the next one um, is freshly brewed coffee uh, this is the label again French and English because I, I am a Canadian consumer from Bath and Body Works and um, before I go on with this candle sorry about uh, the band-aid here I actually uh, cut myself really badly this past weekend um, but um, thankfully I did not have to go to the hospital uh, to get stitches but it is a fairly deep uh, cut that I, I actually cut myself on glass um, but um, it stopped bleeding so so which is good uh, but I was just a little worried uh, this happened on Canada Day um, and uh, I was just really worried I thought oh no I was gonna go to the spend hours uh, on end at the hospital uh, to get stitches but I don't need stitches it it's starting to heal already so which is good Whew. so uh, but I probably will have a little bit of a scar for a while so um, yeah and thankfully it doesn't hurt so it's all good uh, but yes I, I do apologize if you see my ugly finger here with the band-aid but I'm trying to keep it clean as well um, but yeah um, as long as I can work um, I do type all day um, with my work, uh, so, um, uh, but uh, as long as I can type and I can function, it's all good. So, anyways, this is uh, Freshly Brewed Coffee. Uh, this is the label. I love the label here with the maple leaf here. Um, the scent notes for this one is... Uh, Yes, uh, so yeah, it's the notes, actually. Enjoy the room-filling aroma, fresh coffee beans, as you put yourself a cup of ambition. So this actually made me chuckle. Um, if anyone's old enough to remember that movie with Dolly Parton, 9 to 5, that is a quote from the movie which um which is which is awesome um but um this one um at first i thought this was a dupe for paris cafe which i do have in front of me um and it's not uh paris cafe this is a uh, coffee scented candle however this one is straight up coffee like it's a um <clears throat> it's basically a dark roast before uh, or um it's pure coffee before you put in the milk and sugar whereas this one is sweeter on the sweeter side so this one is basically coffee with milk or cream and this one is not uh, <clears throat> so yes we're looking forward to burning that and by the way Paris Cafe is uh, a very popular one this one tends to sell out really quickly at the stores um, I'm, I'm glad I had picked this up a while ago um, and it is a quite strong candle I love coffee scented candles I wish they would make more of them um, <clears throat> and uh, there is actually another candle at Bath and Body Works right now. It was released in Body Care uh, last winter called Coffee and Whiskey. And they do have that again in Body Care uh, for the men's line. My husband did pick up the body cream uh, during winter during the winter sass and he absolutely loves it. Um, <clears throat> I have noticed that Bath and Body Works had released Coffee and Whiskey in the mist. 
uh, which I will probably pick up for my own collection. Um, I just love the smell of it, even though it's supposed to be for men. Um, I think it would be great for layering with other scents I have in my collection. So, um, but anyways, um, this is freshly brewed coffee. The next one from the same collection, this is Apple Macchiato. Um, again, English and French. Um, and there is a cup of coffee here, or, um, and there's some apples here among the filigree here. And the scent notes for this one is Washington spiced apples, hint of cinnamon, caramel drizzle, frothed milk. <clears throat> so that's apple macchiato. Uh, again, same lid. We haven't burnt it yet. Um, it's, there's a almost like a teal greenish uh, wax here. So I'm looking forward to burning that one. And the next one looks a little bit worse for wear. Uh, it looks a little scratched up. As I mentioned, my husband had spilled some wax and this one had a lot of wax on it. So he scraped off, um, he was trying to scrape off the wax from this one. Uh, luckily nothing spilled inside, just the just the, on the glass. So there is a little bit of, um, the glass here is a little scratched. That's fine, <clears throat> and I mean, this is a white barn candle. This is new for this year, apple and charcoal. Um, these scent notes are sweet red apple, smoked charcoal. Um, and this one is going to be, hopefully it will be a stronger one. So yeah, so that's apple and charcoal. Um, <clears throat> so those are the candles that we had picked up. And you guys may be wondering what I've been doing with the lids of the candles that we have burned. Um, so, for example, here's a candle I had burned uh, from our collection. Um, as of recent, this one is called Balsam and Firewood. Again, this is a white barn one. I had picked this up last year during the winter um, and I popped out the uh, wax. From the inside this one did um, sit a little bit uh, on the inside um, I find with um, Bath and Body Works candles no matter how much you trim the wicks in between burns um, you will get some um, some soot but this one burned clean I, I would say for the most part and I will definitely save the label I will cut this part and put this in my um, scrapbook. Um, <clears throat> and um, to remove the wax, actually, what you could do is um, <clears throat> take your candle, put it in the freezer in your freezer for um, for at least a couple hours or so, or or even for a day, and the wax inside should pop right out. You can, in, if you have a hard time taking it out, what you could do is just grab a spoon. Um, or a fork and just just pop it up um, with you and uh, yeah so and it should come out nicely so I will discard the glass once I take off the label here and I've been keeping I've started to keep some of the waxes um, that I've with the candles that we've used and there is quite a bit of wax left um, I'm going to have to purchase a wax warmer um, in the future. I think uh, Walmart has them, so I will have to see if I can purchase one. Because um, essentially, you can burn your candles up to like at the very end, like here. I'm just a little afraid of burning my candles like up to there at the very bottom because I'm, I'm just afraid that like the glass is going to break. Um, so, but on a warmer, it's fine. Um, it's a little bit safer. So what I've been doing with these, uh, my candles, I usually burn them up to here, um, for the most part. And then I've been, I've been breaking them apart and using them in a warmer such as this. 
uh, or a tea light warmer. You can just put your tea light in here. You can you can find these anywhere actually. Um, so there's a tea light here. You can just stick that in here. Place some wax here and uh, use up the rest of the wax from your candles. Um, this is actually from a Yankee candle. Uh, but like I said, you can find these anywhere. You can find these at um, Dollarama. You can find them, find them at Dollar Tree or any other dollar store. But yeah, um, this one is actually from Yankee Candle, as I mentioned. Uh, this is from like 2011. My husband actually gave this to me um, as a present when we were uh, when we first started dating. So this one has some sentimental value to me, and uh, I still use it to this day. And <clears throat> you may be wondering what I do with the lids. Um, I've been keeping some of the decorative lids. Uh, I'm not keeping the white barn ones, the plain ones. Um, I'm keeping the decorative ones, and I'm using them as coasters. Uh, so here's a fall one. Uh, for my candle that I've burned. Uh, it's got like a really nice raised um, pumpkin design here. Um, and uh, what I'm planning on doing is getting some cork and make coasters out of these. You can even use these as is, but you know, they, they move. Uh, so to prevent that from moving, I'm just gonna get some cork um, and make these into coasters. So here's a fall, here's a pumpkin one. I have three matching ones here. So um, yes, I'm going to turn these into um, coasters. And yeah, these will be great for gifts as well. Um, and this one as well, I will be keeping and I will make this into a coaster. Uh, this one just needs a little bit of cleaning up to do, cleaning up, but that's fine. So yeah, that's what I've been doing um, with the lids of the candles that we are burning. Um, and yes, we are burning through some of our candles. Uh, this past weekend, my husband and I um, did a little bit of an inventory uh, with our candle collection. Um, we want to burn as many as possible um, because um, if anyone knows, when it comes to moving, uh, candles are quite heavy. So to pack up and, and move. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we don't have plans on moving, uh, but just in the, f in the future, if we ever decide to move, we will have less can uh, candles to um, pack away. And right now we're going through some of our older Bath & Body Works candles and some of our older uh, Yankee Candle um, candles uh, because after a while they do lose their scent um, unless you keep your candles really uh, sealed and uh, but yeah we noticed a cup of our candles are losing a little bit of their scent so we are going through our Yankee candles, especially. So, um, and uh, yeah, this fall we'll, we will be burning through a lot of that. So yeah, um, enough of my babbling. That is my uh, collective haul from Bath & Body Works. And stay tuned for a tiny Dollarama haul and also a project share. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye now.